this sun. If it weren't for the energy we receive from the sun, we wouldn't have weather. But how is something that's not even on our planet responsible for clouds? Floods? Blizzards? Even tornadoes? Let's start at the beginning. The sun emits several types of electromagnetic radiation. But we are exposed to three types in particular. The first, ultraviolet radiation. Every time you put on sunscreen, it's to protect against the dangers from this incoming radiation. The second, visible light radiation. Think of a rainbow. All the energy of visible light can be seen. Light allows us to see during the day, and at night, we use the artificial stuff. Just as important as light is the third type of energy we get from the sun, infrared radiation. Although you probably know this one by its more common name, heat. All this radiation has to travel 93 million miles before getting to our doorstep. That's no small feat. For humans to travel 93 million miles, it would take 3,500 years. But for the sun's energy, which travels at the speed of light, it only takes eight minutes. Once the sun's energy reaches Earth, it's not all allowed in. Some of it will be turned away, bouncing off the tops of clouds and other parts of our atmosphere. But over half of the sun's energy does make it through our atmosphere, where it's absorbed by the Earth's surface. As the sun's energy is being absorbed by the ground, the ground's temperature begins to increase. The ground begins to emit energy of its own, heat. Because warmer air weighs less than colder air, the warmer air begins to rise. This is why the temperature of the air is warmer at the ground and colder the higher we go in the sky. At night, when the sun is no longer pumping energy into the Earth's surface, the ground begins to cool down, and the air begins to cool back down as well. But remember, it's not just the land absorbing the sun's energy. The oceans are too. And the warming ocean water doesn't just warm the air above it. The heat also vaporizes water, turning it into water vapor. This is the first step in making clouds and storms. And it's all thanks to the sun. <laughs>